All right, my great people, welcome once again, great people of Biafra. Uh, we are on connecting the dots. And this time around, we have a lot of things to talk about. I want you all to pay very big attentively because it's very, very important that the protest must continue. The protest must continue. I will wait till I fix some certain things because I want us to go straight on Biafran television uh, before I will begin to introduce myself and begin to tell our people what we have today. Great people join us once again. It's very, very important that we do the needful. Uh, we all know that on this quest of self-determination that we all, we are not going to back an inch till Biafra is totally restored. Welcome once again, great people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, my great people. We are waiting to go on Biafran television, which is on satellite. We are waiting to go on satellite. Then I will move forward on today's group. Yeah? Okay, okay. Just one minute, my people, let me fix something, please. Hello, great people. Great people, welcome once again. We are on Biafran Television Channel 1 under the leadership of Mazen Namdekan. I greet you all once again today for joining me on this exclusive broadcast today. Like I said, protest must continue. Master, please mute your mic, please. It's disturbing me, please. Protest must continue. And there is no two ways about it. You see, our people have to begin to understand that we can never allow our 14th, 14th healthy, able men to just go just like that. It's impossible. And we must do everything in our disposal to make sure that we get to where we are going to. And what is that to restore our motherland called Biafra? I want you all to join us on Biafran television. We don't care about what Facebook may do. You see, uh, that is something that we know that we are together with them on this rapture media. We are working together with Facebook, with the zoo called Nigeria. Let me introduce myself before I will begin to show you people a lot of things because we have gone beyond only talking. We talk and we bring out the proof. So you begin to understand what we are talking about. I want to first praise our leader, Mazen Namdi Okukano, who is today in DSX dungeon because of me and you. And we must talk about him. 
He is our leader. He is the director of Radio Biafra and Biafran Television, where you are seeing me direct now. He is the director. And I must preach this gospel of redemption to our people. I must preach this gospel of truth to our people because it's very, very important. I greet you all great people of Biafra. Mazin nam di oku kano katuko kikabi ama bawu me dubegu shebegu wenye kwano umu ndidi makana ndidi kan wenye kwano umu nkasi obi makana ekasi obi no ne ne one one edozi alu webne be kwano no bo sinke tata na ndiro Ndini ne parankata we pa gide u. Ndini ne kuro ku asu. Mana anu kwa u. Mana akba gom madu. Ona ako kwa alea. Owe anu kwa. We ge kukwe u. Akan sefa ga apa fono. Ife ne jere biya faro uzi. Ife ne jere ibo uzi. Ife ne jere anami uzi. Ibo anke. Ibibyo. Isoko. Oge tishi fono. Tishi kwe ne hote ne fa janyon si. Makan if a family be for jaw. If for jaw na mother de bine no wa. On no puna parankata we phone in do masin nam de can e be home on eme on em and de bany. Nia na nya we won e jai no ni nya. Ndim din of for the makam a geology masin nam de canu tipera ni me makobi if if I bought white presley on and be a bow white garden on any we must fight. The, this battle is we must. I am on Ali Ogua because uh in Okwan your mokwa be in Aka. Mazin nam de cane where we put on we are where sick yet you we are so we are on him here today. Ebo for the neighbor who are not if you find a member or money find a man or you raise your ego. Hana corner or in your society or not for in your society. Mandiana put your work. Mande se na ala na apofa. Otu waka ala ge si na apofa na aga. Ala ga apu gide ha wita tu mpo sen. Ala ga na apofa. Ofu na ofu. Maka he kubo na ala na apofa. Onye ndu ma zin nam de kanon. Wee se yon na afa wo gon son. So ka chuku o kikabi a ma poli mi he ni ne. Wee dube u wee chebe u. Wee wagu me wee nye gon kasi obi. Wee nye gon obi u ma ane. Because obi u ma ane amaka. Nguwe na ase, chuku o kike. Noro nye ndu ma ase na nande kano. Otu akansi webe, na ha chuku o kike abi ama. Ise, 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 great people of Biafra freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. I am back again today on channel television, uh, channel, um, what is, um, Biafra uh, television, channel one, you people should, but I, I, you know, just don't mind what I say sometimes because sometimes this thing mixed together, but it does not matter. We are on BTV channel one. That is where I'm getting this issue, you know, try to jam each other, but it does not matter. My name's all Mazo Kenna Okechuku, known as the Pia Franchise in Wachineke, the general. I am from Ihala in Anambra. Anambra is a Biafra land. I am on that chain of command. Mazen Namdekan is the highest authority of this movement. The highest commander. And DOS is our family. Our leadership and IPOB is our family. You people will say there is a lot of mistakes today. You shouldn't mind my mistake. Like I always tell my people, that English is not our language. Mistake is always a call when you are not an Englishman. Okay. I wish to always uh, speak on my dialect, but you know, we are uh, Biafran restoration is not for Igbo people, it's for Ndi Igbo, including Ejo, Ibibio, Isoko, Ewanke, Anam, all of us. Now, let me run straight today because I have a lot of videos to show our people. I keep on telling you people that Nigeria can never be good and their Nigeria has no mekwatarism. There is no how you can mekwatanar in Nigeria. 
Nigeria is a broken plate. The one that have already broken into pieces. It's not the one that broke into three places that uh, in Moriki were super glue. Nyashia, mba. Nka, mene, oh, pia go, pia sa, pia sa. And there's no how you can bring it back. I want you people to understand that in Nigeria today, they have people, the police and the army, they will be telling you that this is their job. Do you know that in Nigeria today, people are extorting money from people, telling you that this is their job. They are telling you that this is what they have to do. And there's no how you can stop them. You know, I am bringing you all what is happening today in that contraption. So you begin to understand. And some of you that are traveling to Abuja, I want you to know that the Fulani have taken over everything that you have. Fulani have run all of you up. And I will begin to prove it because our own is to talk. We are talking lesser now and begin to show you the proof. I am not coming here to talk too much anymore, but keep on bringing you what is happening. And I hope that over 70 million are listening to us in Biafra land and across the group. We have over 70 million people watching under the Biafra television channel one under the leadership of mass in Namibia, that we are still standing that protest must continue it's not about ipob it's all about the indigenous people it's all about them but now let me begin to show you people video you see this video that you are going to see now is exactly what is happening in that zoo that is exactly what is happening in that zoo and you will see that pull army man, army man that's supposed to be inside bush. You know, trying to know how they will deal with Boko Haram. And people now, they are there extorting money from our people on the road. And they are proud. They are proud of that by extorting money from our people. They are proud. You see? And that is why you, you have to know that there is no how you can change that Nigeria. There is no how you can rebuild that contraption because everything was built on fraud. Nigeria was built on fraud. Nigerian amalgamation 1914 have expired. I keep on telling my people, that is why you see they are doing all their best today to make sure they renew I think it through, they want to renew it uh, through P2B. Uh, but I have a for now, young way 5G. If you even though put P2B there, we don't care. P2B is standing on number 10, darling. There is no darling King Street. I'm a fan of Pogilia. Now, London, there. Even on your guy, they'll just say photo na door. They will go to the door and snap it. And they will begin to show us. That means that we are still in slavery. Peter B want to go and renew the enslavement of the black people find themselves in that contraption. He knows that we are in a mess. He's still running to those people that are putting us inside, putting us into this mess that we are. He's still running to them. He's still meeting Buga, uh, Babangida. They are still talking. talking. They, now, tell me how do you think that Nigeria will change? You know, I keep on telling people, to tell me how P2B can be able to change all this. None of them want to tell me. They are talking about structure uh, inside the internet. That is what they are showing us. But now let us move on this video before I will begin to talk what I have to tell. I want you to pay attention and listen to what this idiot is saying. Just listen. And you see that this is a proud, a proud soldier. A proud soldier extorting money from our, a proud one for that matter. <laughs> that is why you will know that Nigeria is not for you. Nigeria can never be for you now. You don't know before. Let us go. Something. See. I don't do now. We don't, we don't talk story. Don't be. If I want to collect money, I go collect better money. I need to collect change. Now, hold on. I need to hide down. I need to hide down. I just said, no, if you ask me how much you collect. My, my former commander said, if you want to collect money, collect the one way. Me, I go big and small if the case boss. <laughs> no, you want me to talk. He said, collect better money, he go follow me, top and he go defend me. So, no, all this change where they give me and they collect change. I'm a dead there. I'm a dead there. 
Talk her out now. That's what do for for for. I talk her. If you know it, I will tell you. I'm a customer. I'm a market with this. Yeah. Now here they sell. Okay, go go. Go help. Go help. I no go go help. Not not direct. You know what? They 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 plan salary. No, no, but I don't. I said it's wrong. Go. Why did they plan salary? What do some of them look for? For president. They said it's wrong. Go. So you use your customer. I know. Fuck your wife. Go. Tell your wife. I want this salary. I will go jail. You are saying your wife. Now you can tell me. Take money for those. Mm. Mm. Now you market. How many of the side say it's market? Now you see the atrocity. Collect that money. Collect that money. Make come move here if you want to. This one I work for man. He did trash most for you don't take me to You don't shout for police man finish. I don't want to be in the car. 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 I don't want to Information about the vehicle. No problem. Inspector John, ma. Wait, wait, wait. Which plate number? Lagos. Inspector. Where the information? Mohammed Abkara. Yeah, Inspector. Where the chairman? This man. You better, you better, you better to know the work now. That's why the involve us. No, he said Lagos. He said Lagos. Release that man with that team. Down there, give him a message. Confess now. Say what people for you. Try me. Something. See. I don't do that. <laughs> Where the chair man? This man, you better, you, you better you to know the work now. That's why they involve us. No, he said no. He said I release that man with that thing. Uh, uh, down there, give a man. Come first now, say what people for you. Try me. Just wait. Yes, um, our great people. Yes, great people. Now you have seen how uh, Nigerian military are working. The Nigerian police and Nigerian army, which is the art terrorist in uniform. You now begin to see how they extorted money from our people and they don't even care. They are telling you that this is their business. Now have you now begin to understand that everything in that contraption is business. To kidnap you and ask for ransom is a business. Now you begin to understand. Now I hope you begin to understand there is no how Nigeria will be fixed. There is no how Nigeria can be revised back. Only what can save all these things, save souls, save for army to begin to mount roadblocks and begin to extort money from our people is only disintegration. To seize that Nigerian to exist, to chase away Fulani from Sahel, away from that, those indigenous people that find themselves in that zoo called Nigeria. Now, are you beginning to understand that everybody, you know, everybody have his own business? They do anything the way they want to do their own thing. The man told you that uh, the, his former, his former commander told him when he want to collect money, he should collect a better money. He should collect what? Better money. So that he can be able to also give him also his own share. I told you people that Nigeria is a, is a national cake. Nigeria is a national cake. They are taking money from your land, sucking you, milking you dry, at the same time, they will still tell you, you are, you know, you are nobody. Remember that all this oil is coming out from our land. It's coming out from Piafra land. Those money you are seeing, all this oil you are seeing. The most resources 
the number one resources they have in that contraption is coming from our land. In our land, we have everything. But somebody from Jigawa will tell you that Oye in Bayasa belongs to Jigawa. And this person is not lying. He's telling you the truth. Because today, the Sultan of Sokoto is controlling more than 15 Oye world. And when you go to Bayasa today, none of any uh, any chief, any warrant chief have a, a, an Oye well. Now you begin to understand what I'm saying. So that is the reason why you see Nigeria can never be Mekwatarism. So my great people, I want you all to see this video. Some of you that are traveling to Abuja, I want to bring another video for you people to see when people are traveling to Abuja. I want you people to know that they have already run all of you up. They have already run all of you up. It's a short video, but you are going to see it and you are going to believe that Fulani are parading every place in that contraption. Fulani are parading every place. And no, no, nobody is stopping them. Nobody is telling them to stop. Nobody tell them to stop. They are parading themselves, moving freely, doing whatever they want to do, and nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. So nothing you can do about it. I want you all to know that Nigerian military, they are terrorists by themselves. Nigerian military are terrorists and believe you me, they will keep on killing, maiming and nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. I keep on telling you people, that Fulani owns Nigeria. Mazi, I want you to bring me that video of uh, people traveling to Abuja, please. So, in Nigeria, you have no military. You have no army. There is no army in that contraption. There is no military to go and confront Boko Haram because you know the reason why. All of them, they are terrorists. They are mayat Allah. They are bandits. They are Fulani Hesmen. They are Isbo. All of them, they have today in Fulani land the more than eight terrorist organizations killing and maiming every single day. These people are killing more than 100 people every day. When you combine what is happening in the northern part of Nigeria, I have no I have no apology. I don't think about those people living in northern part of Nigeria. I say things the way it is because they are the people that cause their own problem. Remember what Erufai told you people. They brought this militia from Sahel to come and remove Jonathan. A very good luck, Jonathan, who is there busy building Alamajiri school for Fulani people. Even though the road to enter to what is his name, a very good luck, Jonathan. There is no road. Every place is a pothole. But he's busy there building school for Ramajiri with a mat on a road for on a rougher school. They want them to go to school. He wants to plead them. The same thing, this idiot from uh, what is his name? Uh, a really, uh, little Hitler, a river state uh, governor. Yes, on weekend. He go there, he give them 500 billion or million. I don't know how much. There is no road on his place. Way to his house is uh, all of them are catastrophic. But he's there building house for the building roads, giving them money. They left him after he served them. They left him. Willie Obiano is today in London or in America enjoying going to, uh, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> Our people are so useless. It, 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 even though you people don't even know that those places you are seeing will be you know, it's a places they are not they are not paying money. It's a free. It's every street, every summer is a free. It's a free. You can see them free. Now, will you be you know, have been released? 
and carry the wife, they now in abroad, enjoying our money, squandering our money they have already stolen from us. That is why I keep on telling my people, you see this pattern that we always use. If is, is something that is not going to help us. Onye Chichalito, we forgot about him. It's not going to help us. See today now, we know Biano is enjoying our own wealth, our money that have already been stolen. We are not talking about we do Biano anymore. The concubines, the, the extended family, they are living large. Uh, Willie Obiano is in America, you know, parading himself, going to uh, uh, a free, a free, uh, what they call it. You know, this is something they do every summer. It's a free. You can go there and begin to walk. Now he begins to dance for us. Every place was already made. Now he's walking. The wife, they are kissing themselves because they have already stolen from you and run away. We are now searching for Willie Obiano to go and get Willie Obiano. Why you know that Willie Obiano have taken refugee in America and they can never bring him back? That is exactly what Abakiyari is doing today. They have already rescued Abakiyari upon killing our people. We saw some dead body they have already embalmed. That is the people that Abakiyari killed. But today Abakiyari is a free man. Mazin Nam the Kano that is fighting for you and me are still in DSS dungeon. Our elders, our representatives, Ndisia Wana Ured, where are you people? None of them is talking about Mazin Nam the Kano today. None of them is yapping. None of them, we see none of them today. All of them, they have already shocking themselves under their women's bed, under their wife's bed. That is where they are today. None of them is talking. When Mazen Namdekan was out here with us, we saw John Onyangwodo jumping around like idiots. We saw all those people, Sinafar Bohanes and the Alan. We saw them. We saw the governors, Dave Umahi. Okay, see, pass with them. All of them, they were jumping, gallivanting, that they will, they know what to do. Abba Kiyari had been escaped from prison, which is a Kuje prison. The one of the highest prison in that contraption. They open it. Their image, all of them, they free all of the Boko Haram. They free all the whole terrorists. They free them. And nothing is happening today. They free all of them. Mazin Namdekano is there. He has brothers. He has uh, representatives. He has Igwes and PG. All of them, they are mute today. They never ask where is Abba Kiyari that have killed and maimed our people? And also they caught him on drug pushing. Today, Abba Kiyari is one of those people that are selling organs, killing and harvesting the organs of our people. Today, Abba Kiyari is a free man. Believe you me, you cannot bring Abba Kiyari back. You cannot. This super cop, you cannot. He have already, you know, taken refugee. In Switzerland, he is there enjoying it with your own wealth. Now you begin to understand it. Nigeria is something that for us to, to get these people for the atrocity and chaos they have committed against our people. After they finish, we begin to look for them bomba to bomba. That is how we can stop. I, you know, I will say my own things I'm not giving order, but I always bring a way out to our people. How to stop all this mess? When they finish their tenor, we don't stop. We don't. St we don't supposed to stop talking about them. We supposed to handle them. That is when we supposed to confront these people, confront, extend the family. I keep on talking about this extension. I keep on talking about extension. Extending the family, this is only way out because these people that they are on top is very hard for you to get these people. You can't get these people. You can't. You can't. People that you know that they are paying huge money to secure themselves. Before you get to them, you will get almost thousands of Boko Haram guiding them. How do you think that you will get these people? And the way these people get married, 
yes, so I say things the way it is. One name Puchaya, I'll be full of the do no gang one when I'm one because I know you people cannot do anything. Tell me why should you allow Willie Obiano today in America enjoying gallivanting, going to party from party? Now, nah, Musia Kohol, if one I'm gonna mind today, or Kwaba three quarter, Kwacha three quarter, or Muba Kohol, or Mochazi, or Kohi, I wouldn't dare when I say governor, former governor, that Ojige go the whole Anambra people, squander the, the, the money of Anambra today enjoying in America. Do you think that you can bring Willie Obiano back? The answer is no. Will you be able believe to stay in America till he will die? When he will die now, he will tell his kingsmen to bring back his corpse. That is what he will be doing now. He can never see the leg of Will you be able? You can never. Why? He got to see Oba go for fault like Abaki Yari. Our people are supposed to begin to learn. Now, let me shock you people. Some of you people that are going to Abuja, in Aga Abuja, you make sure. You watch out because you may be the next target. I swear you will be the next target. You know, like I always tell my people this. This Fulani you see, they are not coming like that they, they, they target you. No, there is no particular person they are targeting. It's unfortunate when they will get the rich person or the daughter of uh, one minister. Uh, that is when their money will be raise you know they will have more money but if they go kidnap somebody like me you know we are nobody like all our brothers are some idiots on that zuko nigeria they are still believing in one nigeria that i keep on saying that one nigeria must happen to them and they must be the next target but i'm giving you all this freely voluntarily because what we are doing is volunteer we don't take money from anybody I'm set always. No, 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 no. one man squad. One alone. I don't not with anybody. That is why I stand here in Germany, waiting for any bagger. Call, 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 we have already vowed on this quest of self-determination. If you give, oh yeah, mele ye jiobo ni ne e wambo ni mele detin extend makandi nega de ya no yibo. Ana me kuifa ne kusike. Ndini ni ifu ne wu muanani. Iwota the real commander silike. Iwota fast silike. Ana me kuya ne kusike. Obude for Mahina na bulletproof. Obude for Mahina Taya Abuna Taya Taya Kab de for Mahisi bulletproof. Obu Taya Nkana or um, Abuja made governor. Hope who's or them what? His tire is a bulletproof. Do you know that we hope who's or them my tire are bulletproof? A boy, what we get a boy tire hope who's or them my boy got a boy. Like almost 10 kilometers before. So, how do you want to get this man? That is why. Una chobia ebo kadigodu fa. Una name. Sorry, my people. Una name the family extend. Kona ageba ha game of security. Makebe gato shifa. Eba ha game of security. Oh, naturally, when I want. Oh, what kind of man did it? Oh, when the game of security. I can't be a one. Only only people where we have security is those people that they are sitting. One never found ever found Gorogo, he wants security. Oh, to answer one person, ever found Gorogo, he wants security. Everyone they have got no one, he wants his their cousins, their sisters, he wants security. He wants security. I will to answer one person. The only one who won't know. One day, general go fish each one more for good. I don't care about what he open and never know what child they are. One day, a like a lalo lega head at time, and there's nothing you can do about it. We are in a country that we have a free speech. You cannot be killing our own people, and you think that we are going to keep quiet. Now, pay attention for some of you that are going to Abuja. You will be at the wrong place 
in a wrong time or in a wrong place at a wrong time and you will be what you will be the target and the way you will become the target if you don't have money to pay your own is gone let me show you how fulani in abuja the heart of devil how they are parading they are now the security in abuja going with bike carrying ak-47 rifles without any police stopping them because they are the police they are the army terrorists that are coming from sahel they have told them to troop into that contraption and begin to cause chaos because nigerian belongs to them and believe you me nigerian belongs to these people nigeria belongs to these people it's not for you nigeria is for full any people and you see you may be thinking that i'm just lying to you now i want us to watch this video and i want you to pay attention very well and you begin to understand that everything i'm saying not about the truth like i promised the people we are working towards i think saturday or sunday to bring the final discussion the final nailing of how they kills our 14 healthy men in biafra land you know our mama we are bringing them the last expose the last expose is coming we are going to publish it the last expose is coming we are going to make the last expose on this issue then you begin to do the needful you can never stop at all honorable no no for one man so i can do with fan new today that all of us have to embark on this journey that we are to free ourselves because if we fail we are going to be a slave to full and forever and this is their plan the planning of jihadis wahhabism wahhabism jihadism terrorist group they are coming and let me shock you people i don't want to talk too much let me shock you people in abuja in abuja in abuja street of abuja let me bring it back please let me put it on the screen let me put it on the screen let me put it on the screen this what you are going to see now is a street in abuja the heart of abuja this is the place you can find embassies house of government you know headquarter of minister of something <laughs> INEC headquarter <laughs> army headquarter petroleum headquarter stolen of our money headquarter the bank headquarter everything headquarter headquarter in abuja also the the capital of terrorism which is also in abuja you will see how they are parading themselves and nothing happens to them try it in the land of biafra if they don't bomb you if opposed or them they not don't bomb you then you understand what i'm saying do you know how many times hopes or them might have bombed our people our innocent people is bombing them calling them tagging them a terrorist tagging them a bandit but you see that elufai have come out town without number elufai have come out town without number telling you that he knows where the terrorists are he knows their camp go and bomb them it's lie he will never bomb them because they are his brothers he said that uh, jonathan want to reduce their population of course even though you reduce their population they are still populated more than any of you that is why you see that what is his name peter obi will go and visit um what is his name um this one that is going on will share today babangida you go and visit babangida upon what babangida have done you go and visit him he's still on the wish here 
controlling you because he knows that none of his brother from uh, Biafra land can help him. Only Fulani can help him. That is why you see it today is going there. Let us hear this video and see it in detail. Yes, I, I hope you people see how they are parading themselves. I would like to show this video once again so that you begin to understand. Nothing will happen to these people. Nobody will stop them. Nobody will hold them. Nobody will question them. Nobody is going to do anything to them. Nobody is going to do anything to them. You see... You see how they are parading themselves, moving freely. One, I will show it back again. Ndine, ndine, makandine yarega nwoyibo. I am not good at English. I am not an Englishman. But I am trying my best to make sure that I propagate this issue in English language so that our people will understand. But I am telling you people, Makandine yarega no yibo. Video ne web talon no gen ka wabo nde fulani nde fulani terrorists. They have already taken over Abuja. They are the people that securing Abuja now. Because very soon they will take over everybody. They you see. By the time these people done with two people, nde fulani, I keep on calling fulani is your problem. Fulani have infiltrated our people. Fulani, Fulani, they are only the problem you have. And these people are not more than 5%. These people are not. Is your, can anybody understand what I'm talking about? Can you people that call yourself one Nigeria, can you idiots, Galavante, all these morons that we have, or intellectual that we have in that contraption. Can you people even understand that these people are not the indigenous of people, indigenous people of that contraption? Do you people understand that? The representative of Yoruba Odutuwa, the represent our in our place, we have all we have is intellectual. All of them they are intellectual. None of them no understand anything. All of them they are intellectual. That is something that I'm trying to ask ourselves. Does it mean that all of our representatives from South, Southerners, does it mean that these people don't even know who is Fulani terrorists? Does it mean that these people cannot even stand up and defend their territory? Does it mean that these people cannot be able to arrange themselves and begin to import the same thing that Fulani are importing, giving their own misguided brothers. Does it mean it cannot happen that way? Does it mean? Now let us see the video once again. Let us see the video once again, then you begin to understand. <laughs> Yes, my people. Yes, my people. Now, another video that I want to show to our people is about reconciliation, rehabilitation, and reintegration 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 rehabilitation and reconciliation that is the three arrows mazi i want you to bring the video to me i need the video right now please rehabilitation reconciliation 
and reintegration. You see, this thing that I want to show you people now is something that's supposed to be done. It's supposed to be done after the end of the war, which is 1970. That go one, go one that is dying in Parkinson today. And I thank God that go one is still alive today to see all the whole evil that he committed. That he went to Aburi, he went to Aburi. Go one went to Aburi. Go one went to Aburi to negotiate through federalism. All Israel, all Israel go to you back to your tent. Marzi, I need the reconciliation, rehabilitation, and reintegration. We need the video right now to show our people what these people are supposed to do after the war. Now, I want to tell you people the reason why they are doing this. If you people haven't forgotten, remember they are planning to impeach Bugari. <laughs> I will tell you people all these things because some of you don't even understand what is playing. You see, they want to bring us back. They want to, you know, they want to use us like, they want to tell us that, uh, you see, after 60 something years, after maltreating the whole Biafras, because you see, this message today is also from uh, also to our brothers and sisters that they are from coastal region. This news that you are going to hear now, they are talking about the three arrows supposed to be implemented after the war. Mm -hmm. But remember that these people. <laughs> take all the, the properties of their own brother. They call it abandoned property. You know, you understand what I'm saying? That to show you that this divide and rule we are talking about is authentic. Do you know that Yoruba people release their abandoned property? But our own people from coastal region, I am just saying things, uh, it's something that we have already been forgotten. We, it's a it's already it's already gone but you know whenever we are talking we also when issue like that like this come up we have to you know trying to find a a, a, a base foundation because before you build a house you must build a foundation so that our people will understand the root of our problem but it's something that we is already been forgotten because we are all brothers and sisters we are not going to go back there anymore we have already fought ahead. But we have also have to touch it when this issue comes. Because this news that you are going to hear now is talking about the coastal region of Biafra and hinterland. That to show you that we are one people. Regardless that our people from coastal region take the properties of their brother in hinterland. Of course they did it. They can never deny. Go and ask this... Uh, and Pandev, Edwin Clark. Edwin Clark will tell you it's not lying. Asari Dokumbo will be there telling you that they are the people that are selling hinterland on, in slavery. And you see, all these things that I'm telling you people, nothing but the truth. But we have to get the root of the problem before you begin to solve it. But this video that I'm going to bring now is going to shock every one of you. But there is a propaganda on this video. Just imagine after Imagine then that's already wait after imagine after how many years of a war, a genocidal war, because we have to make it clear. They never talk about the genocidal, they are talking about compensating the, the those people that lost their life during the war, and now they are trying to tell you how many billions they are going to use to begin to. You know, search for those places that bomb where where we failed and they were they are today inside the ground where people are afraid to go and cultivate because there is a bomb uh, uh, you know buried there. You understand? Mars, why you take the video out, Mars, bring the video out, Biggie, please bring it back again. You still remove it. Why? So um disconnected why why disconnected why disconnected 
why disconnected? Why disconnected? Why disconnected? So, my great people, I am backing, I'm coming back. Let me try. I, So my people, I think we are having a problem with uh, with Facebook. You know, I, I always tell my people. President has already told. Uh, we are not the same in this uh, quest of self determination. One thing about Facebook that people don't understand about Facebook, where we are when you are talking about the Biafran child in Washington. These people have understand what I can do. That is why you see sometimes when the person that is operating our system, because Facebook is already in our system. Nigerian government is already in our system because they have uh, people working for them in that zoo called Nigeria. They have already getting into our system. The day that the idiot will not be there, you will see how the, 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 the I mean to say, the viewers will fly. That is why sometimes I keep on asking people. We begin asking me that people don't view me. I tell them, "Are you people insane? Do you know what this? I mean, where I have getting myself into that a whole beer franchise will be doing a broadcast. You see, only fifty people, and you believe in you believe to yourself that this is only people that I have. This is what you believe, and that is why I'm trying to tell you people. You people don't even have sense at all." Or some people will call you on the phone telling you that uh, Simon ever is having viewers more than me. No. He never. He never. That is why they shut one of my page, our, our page down. Echo Biafra. They shut it down. Now they have already entered the Echo Biafra. You go there and see how many people share the video. We have already opened new one. That to show you that our second name is consistency. We have already dropped another one. It's going to run like a yoga now speed. Some people will be talking nonsense. You have forgotten who is Biafran child. If Facebook is not suppressing the page that I'm managing, there is no how I, the Biafran child, will come up on broadcast without having no lesser than 2,000 something viewers at the same time. There's no two ways about it. I have gotten that position and no one can stop it. And that is why today, we don't care about Facebook. What we care now is Biafran Television Channel 1. That is the reason why you have to go and download the app. Because very, very soon, we are going to leave Facebook for them. We are going to fund it from Facebook because we can't take them anymore. We cannot, we don't care about what, our message has to be keep on going on the ground because we are trying to sanitize our people on the ground not on facebook the video that you are going to see now is about the reconciliation rehabilitation and reintegration issue that's supposed to happen after the end of genocidal war they massacred more than 10 million. Of course, more than 10 million. Can you hear me sound and clear? More than 10 million of our people they killed. Only more than more than 5 million is only 5 million is about only the kids. Plus the soldiers, plus the adults. Together, there are more than 10 million of our people they killed in genocidal war. And up to date, the world don't want, still want, they don't want to recognize. 
the help of British people killing our people, maiming our people. In Biafra land today, you can never see any statue representing those people that they massacred. They committed genocidal. There is no, but when you go to Europe, you will see people, they kill only one million. They are saying this genocidal. Now that is something they are bringing back to you now. They say they want to compensate the people that they fought the war. People that they, they want to come and begin to use us. Chukuga own on Chani We are not taking any compensation from any idiot from Abuja. What we want is Biafra. Because after since that war of 50 something years, I don't know how many years, because I don't care about that zoo. That is why I don't keep any memory of that zoo. I don't know if it is something years after the war or if it, I don't know. But do you know the reason why these people, are, they want to bring back that zoo to come as one again so that they, some of you will begin to write your name. Some of fake people because our people so much love money. Now they will tell you they want to compensate those people that they fought for war. They fought for Biafra war. Hey, they, you see, a lot of them now will begin to write their name. Some people will be writing the name of dead people that have died for, or even though during the war. We don't need any money from that zoo. Our people have bounced back after that genocidal 1967 to 1970. They have begun to kill our people since 1945. So after the genocidal war, our people have bounced back. Our people have understand the way of of you know to make things happen that is why we are telling our people to leave northern part of that zoo called nigeria and come back to hinterland and begin to develop we are going to make it remember after the war they gave us only 20 pounds being you a trillionaire being you a billionaire being you a thousand year, then we give you only 20 pounds. Only John, only Angu, the father collected his own money plus pension, plus uh, what they call it, uh, when you save money in a bank, interest. Only John, only Angu, the father. He collected all his entire savings. John, only Angu. And today is Galamfantin. Nobody is talking about John, only Angu, because he has finished as a as a and they are throw. Now, today, he have entered. Nobody is talking about them. Obioza will still rule his own and finish. And the person that will come next, we begin to talk about this. We are no good. Things can never be done that way. Let us go to this video and you understand. Now, let us see. See, listen. The president has already told us that Nigeria is from top to bottom. We are the bottom now. Mm -hmm. And I, I am not surprised at the happenings in our country. Uh, knowing that uh, the president before he got into power has come out to speak for these Boko Haram members and terrorists he has come out in their support I was even surprised that people were voting in President Muhammad Buhari to come and uh, fight terrorism when he has, he has it, in the past spoken out for terrorists now you have a situation where uh, the nation is in a haphazard uh, arrangement. The president will say one thing. His media spokesperson will say another thing, refute what the president has said. He's as if the president cannot even make his own statement. And we have a situation where the president cannot tackle any issue that comes. He will absorb himself of all uh, blames or responsibility and place it on the shoulder of uh, another person. I was even surprised when uh, terrorists attacked the prison, Kujé prison in, in Abuja, and the president could not even make uh, any uh, comprehensive statement to counter these terrorists. Now you find out that in the north, lately people have been kidnapped. People were kidnapped from the, the, the train station. They are still being held captive. And we are seeing videos of this people being flogged. I can't imagine someone flogging me at this age. I remember my parents flogged me when I was small. It wasn't a, a very good experience. Now, this time, when I've, I've, I've been able to understand what pain is, and I don't want to feel any pain, someone will now come and flog me. My brother, you will kill me there. You cannot flog me like that. But people are being flogged, and they're asking for 100 million naira ransom. What do they intend to do with those monies? 
Now, I mean, in the board of what Adepoju, right? Mm -hmm. He was saying, Adejumo was saying, if you give, yes, <laughs> if you give 100 million naira to these terrorists, maybe let's say they're asking for 100 million naira on per person. If you give them 100 million naira, you're only, uh, helping to empower them and to give them more power you know these terrorists they thrive more on instilling fear on the populace when they succeeded in instilling fear they now make people to be desperate to give them these funds without these funds these terrorist organizations will not thrive and but there was a point where you said that these people are nigerians they are, they are, they are inflicting pains on fellow nigerians i beg to disagree that most of them are not nigerians they the, have the, the people, the people adopted? no no not the people adopted okay. the people responsible for these terrorist okay. activities is a mixture of people from niger people from other neighboring countries that have made up their mind to carry out terrorist acts in this nation and can i confidently say that the government of the day is not aware of what is happening or they do not know the locations of these terrorists or these people are situated outside the Nigeria that they cannot find them. I beg to disagree. The fact is, if the government decides to work, even our police that will complain about, if the police take it upon themselves to work, they dispense with justice. They, they go about their duties in a very quick situation. Now, you, have, you had a situation then uh, uh, where Oh, so we had a situation then where uh, someone came out on the radio station to say uh, a person was trafficked to Ghana and the person was crying for help, came to our office. Uh, one of the Omo Talk directed him to our office. So he came to our office and we immediately contacted uh, Nati. They came to the office, interviewed the guy, and arrest was made instantly that same day. Arrest was made. The location of the girl was found out in Ghana, and they are making efforts to bring her back to Nigeria. These are the things our government can do. But the government has made up their mind that they will not do anything. They enjoy to ensure that Nigerians suffer on a daily basis. And this thing doesn't just extend to any, it doesn't just extend to any religion, whether you're Muslim or you're Christian. When these terrorists come out, they don't look at your religion. The number of persons that were killed on that train attack they were both christians and muslims just uh, I, I i feel so bad that we have gotten to this point in this nation but something needs to be done if they don't want to carry out their responsibility then we'll force them to carry out their responsibility great people um Hello, great people. I will come back to that video that I want to show my people. I think uh, it was uh, a wrong video. Uh, this is not about the rehabilitation and reconciliation. And uh, let me bring out this video. I want you people to give me to pay attention a little bit. So let me bring out this video because uh, I just missed that video. This is not the video that I want to show my people. But uh, I'm going to bring the video out now. For you people to see what they are planning against all of you in that contraption what they are planning to 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 do where well, i think i saved this video or not i supposed to save this video i supposed to save the video i this is about the terrorist people they are showing us where did i have this video does it mean that i did not save this video it's very very pity that i did not save because this the video that i show you people now is the one that bugari convoy they want to attack bugari convoy they are about to attack bugari convoy okay this is the video that i want Mazi, please, I want you to couple this video for me before uh, couple it for me so that uh, I will have it. But I want you to bring uh, our Igbo speaking Biafra. You see the atrocity that our people are committing. Mazi, I just send you the last video, please. I want you to couple it to me. Couple it for me, please. Please. And I hope you are listening to what I'm saying. Mazi, I want you to, to be able to let us work on this video here. Let us work on this video, please. Great people, just give me one minute. Let me.
yes great people i have already find the video and uh, the video will come very soon uh my great people there's another video that i want to show you people i want you people to understand the stupidity of our own people <laughs> you people remember they killed 14 hefty guys in our land why some people are there shouting buga, shouting to fubu he was speaking people they don't even support their own brother called p2b of course p2b is there just uh, parading himself in internet on the internet who knows where he's parading himself on social media but this idiots that we have in our land they can't even support their own they who might have run 440 he's supporting article you see all jews or carlo is supporting tifubu the one that is a uh, organ harvesting Harvesting people's organ harvesting, which is a UK for the model. The man they gave money to build road for us. He squandered our money and he thinks that he don't know that nemesis is coming. Of course, people are sick. People can be sick. See, people can suffer from kidney problem. But who knows if that nemesis is not the one that comes to them? Nemesis now. They are now in prison. Who is going to take care of their daughter now? Because he for the money is a greedy man. That is why he wants to do everything by himself. He don't want anybody to do him zama or to Simon who say zama. They can pay you. Has anybody that write nonsense? You take them off because I'm using my computer here and I'm watching through multiple pages. Anybody that write nonsense, you block the person. We don't care. How many people view us? 50 people is enough. The day they will forget us, you will come back here, you will be surprised because they know who Biafran Child Watchmaker is. And I will not make because of some of you idiots begin to the shout and be doing nothing. We don't care about viewers. I have said it down with that number. The day you will come, you will still meet us with 3,000 viewers. You will meet us with 4,000 viewers. That day, just know they have already forgotten. The person that is operating it, because any day they just see my face. If I just bring out great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, they have already entered. <laughs> and that is our national anthem. And we can never stop it. Because we are the great people of Biafra. Now, I want you people to see the stupidity and injustice of our people. I want you people to know that our people so much love money and they are using the same money to deceive our people. I want you people to know that no one didn't know you know they are they are opportuned that they are living in Lagos. Unfortunate uh, this bullet they are this bullet that is flying never touched any of their kids. And they are not living in Biafra land. That is why they don't care. You will see, you will hear what they are singing. Let me bring it to you people. These people are saying, Ibo kwenu fashiwaju. Ibo kwenu fashiwaju. Ndi fula ni tu ime fa. Ndi abundi fula ni tu ime fa. Ndi abundi amu during after the war or during the war. Remember that during the war, they were fula ni we are pregnanting our women because after they massacred our young people, they begin to import fula ni from Senegambia, Chad, Niger, Sahel to begin to pregnant our women. That is exactly what these people are doing today in Lagos. This is the people that Fulani pregnanted their mother. That is why they will be in Lagos today shouting Igbo for Tinubu. Why these people have forgotten that they killed 14 hefty men that they have already sent early grief. Their mothers today are in pain. Their families are crying today. Some of them that they have already married, they are crying. 
The wife they left behind are crying. The children they left behind are crying because they have no father anymore. Why some of our idiots living in Lagos? And the next air where I got one, the bullet is flying. This is your husband. The two accounts will go here. And the next kidnap, the full and it will come when you will step your foot in Biafra land. You people are the next kidnap from full and Alamanche. And I know that some of your relatives that are still living in village, when full and it will come, they will be at a wrong place at a wrong time. They will be the target. This is how I pray. They are and they really. Ndibo is going nowhere. But you people have to support your own. The, the Yorubas, they are supporting their own. The Fulanis, they are supporting Atiku. Ona, no, no only on be one kind of ndeala that don't even know they are, they are left from their right. What makes you people not to support P2B? Can somebody tell me P2B and P2B is not going to help any of you? P2B is not going to change anything. But we have to say things the way it is. Why these people cannot support their own? Why? Tell me. P2B is running to England. Go and snap picture with a queen son or a queen husband, and Akogiri. They want to come and enslave us again. They want to renew their contract, their treaty, so that we will still be one Nigeria. And we are telling them no. Now listen to these idiots. They oh, 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 from near here. You point it out. If you see your mother here, you point, and I will tell you that your mother is is an idiot. Any person that their mother is here and their father. Listen and see what your people are doing. In the, in the born. I own the born. Now you begin to understand what we are talking about. That some of our people Amaro me feminine in the bang em. Amaro mo ifen de bang you ever na faga no ifen. I don't even understand. I don't even understand. I don't even understand. I don't even know what is wrong with our people. I don't even know what is wrong with our people. That our people cannot even reason and understand the mess that we are into. They keep on, uh, they keep on, uh, they keep on running away from their land, praising other people Why their own is there. You are watching us on Biafran Television Channel 1 under the leadership of Mazen Namdekano. You are 
listening to us. Facebook, Chukuga Kono Oko. Eberima is there extorting money from our people. Mas anybody that writes nonsense, you delay the person. Me the, the people, yes, my great people. Uh, we have to, you know, the video is that uh, I have to upload it through somewhere through the technical director on the ground, and we are working uh, on an, our new, um, our new, um, how can I put it? We are working on our new app. Uh, very soon our app will change our app will change and then i can be doing some certain things also alone but that is when the time comes very very soon you people will see that we have already changed a new pattern because this time around we are broadcasting straight away on uh, frequency which is uh which is a satellite so, my great people, there is a video that I want to show you all now. This video is about, remember that last three, last two months, if you people haven't forgotten, because I have gotten to that stage that everything that I'm saying, I can refer you back to go and see my video. If you people haven't forgotten, I came up with a onyem uh, last two months. We, we are talking about what is going to happen in that Nigeria. Some of you are saying that uh, Peter B is the one that's going to change Nigeria. Some of you are saying that Atiku is the one that's going to rebuild Nigeria. Some of you are saying that Jagaban said that he's, uh, he's torn, Emiloko. But there's something that our people don't even think about. I don't know the reason why I also don't have that video around me. That was, I think, last three weeks when Tinubu was saying that, remember that his case is still in Supreme Court. The case that shows that because after the election of 2017, Atiku was saying that he won Bugari that Bugari stole his mandate. And that case is still today in the court of law in Abuja, the heart of evil. The case is still open. I want you people to always pay attention to what I'm saying. I've been on here. You know, sometimes there's something about me. I don't like to gossip. I am bringing you authentic. And I am not coming to make you laugh in a sense that it will be combined. No, everybody have their own pattern. I am coming to tell you straight away what I want to tell you people. Of course, in my videos, you can laugh. There's no how I'll make you laugh because that is not my pattern. Okay. So I want you people to understand this. That Tinubu, I've been to say, Atiku said, that was last month, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm standing to be corrected, but it's within one month now, he just said it, that the case that he have in Supreme Court is still open. The case is still open. Now, and I have uh, Mazo. Yes, I mean to say Atiku, not Inubu, Atiku. Atiku in a, in a law court, in Supreme uh, Court, his case is still open, article, articulated, that's supposed to be your president in 2017. And uh, they stole the mandate from him, which is Bugari. And he left Bugari to be ruling because all this thing is a game plan. The video that I'm going to bring now is another video that's going to shock every one of you. 
Because now some senators, they are planning to impeach Bugatti. And I want you people to know this. Just write this thing that I'm telling you down. If Atiku see that all this thing that Peter Obi and all these people, Tinubu is gallivanting themselves, if Atiku eventually understand tomorrow that these people may win him through the vote, Atiku will go for his case in a court that is not yet closed, is still open. The case of Atiku is still open. That he won Bugari is still in the court of in the judiciary. That stupid system of that zoo corner is still there. It's not closed. Now, I want you to pay attention to this. For some of you that have inability to reason. Now the case is still open in the court. Atiku is coming as a PDP presidential candidate. And now some senators are going to impeach Bugari because they want Bugari to step aside. And I want you people to know that anything can happen. We still have some months left. Don't think that the, anything can happen in one week. Just a week, things can happen. If the Fulani terrorists did not take over Nigeria, and Atiku understand that these people want to take his position to be a Nigerian next president, Atiku, they will declare Atiku winner of that opening case. And if the election remains five days or three days, if they declare Atiku a winner, Atiku will come and take his mandate. That means that the election is already cancelled. Atiku will begin to rule. That is why you see they allow the case to still be open up to date. They never close it. Why I'm telling you people is for you people to begin to reason. There is a two things involved. Either they want people to stop talking about Bugari because Bugari have died in 2017 and gone. You know, two things that is involved is what I'm trying to tell you people. From there, nobody will ever talk about Bugari again. We have impeached him. Probably after impeaching, they will tell you they will jail him. They will just put him one place from back here. They will come out him. He will go back to where he come from, which is uh, Somalia. Uh, no, Somalia. This Sudan, and this one, uh, bro, Jubri. This is a uh, Aisha Bugari boyfriend from a. Uh, he's from a. Um, from the jail. Aisha Bugari girlfriend, uh, boyfriend is from Nijil. So he will go back to Nijil. This one is not Jubri Aminu El Sudani. Because everything we are saying is accurate. Jubri Aminu El Sudani have run 440 after the death of Abba Kiyari. Is that one have run away from Kuva. He don't want to return back. He said his hand is not there. Now Aisha Bugari brought his boyfriend from Nijil. So what they are planning now is like for them to impeach the man from the jail, for him, for them to send him back so that nobody remember what you know. Some of our people, there are some certain things that our people are supposed to use to make a case. I don't know what is Tinubu said. If they don't make him APC presidential candidate, that he will sink Nigeria. He will tell Nigerian people who is in Asorok after they want to give it to Konkoso, they call the man back. And if Tifubu is not, is not, if he don't take his time, so I have given you people a tool what is about to come. Fulani terrorists may take the position of Nigeria. What they will tell you there is a coup and Fulani will take over. And whenever they did a coup, you see all these things some of you are saying that it's impossible because there's something about black people that I don't even understand. Everything they will be telling you is impossible, is impossible. In Nigeria, everything is possible. In that zoo called Nigeria, every damn thing is possible. 
Now let us bring the you see and see it, some idiots say that they want to <laughs> They want to go and be Dubai. They say they don't want Bulgari to be there anymore. They say Bulgari, they say Bulgari is a, is a bandit. They say give them one chance to impeach Bulgari that Bulgari should leave, should Bulgari should leave the seat. And they ask yourself now, after eight years. After we have been shouting that Bugatti died in 2017 and was buried in Saudi Arabia, now some idiots and morons, some intellectuals have gathered themselves in Abuja telling you that they want to impeach Bugatti. Don't you people, can't you people just reason for once and understand that how this man will be in seat all this while, you did not impeach him. Now he left three months to finish, or one month, or one week to finish his uh, tenure. You want to impeach him. Now begin to ask yourself, what is these people are thinking now? That is one thing I'm telling you people. On this impeachment, if these people, the, the military may come on board, or they will declare article. And whenever I want you people to understand, if they declare article winner today, Bugari will step down. Atiku will take over his position because he won Bugari. And all of you people that are shouting, moving like idiot, nagalamvanting of social media, I am telling you people the system of that contraption because some of you people don't even know the system. Mazi, I want you to bring me back the three arrow. I hope that we have already, uh, I think I have already fixed it the three arrows so that uh, then we see what i'm saying uh -huh, thank you uh you know the un talk about uh the biafran restoration and mazen namdekan they should release him with immediately immediately they should release him unconditionally but some people are there claiming that uh they are the ones that are doing the job. I keep on asking them. Some of you that go and uh, went to, what they call it, Vanguard, to put your name there. I keep on saying, the day that Nigeria begins to praise you, you are compromised. Let me tell you people something. That is why you see Eberima today, then we'll call Eberima in uh, BBC. That is why Tribune, Vanguard, the nation newspaper can write about Eberima that Eberima have taken over Mazen Namdekan. That Eberima, Simon Epa in Finland, uh, we don't, they, according to Tribune or Vanguard, he say, we don't even know that somebody powerful more than Mazen Namdekan. Any day that your enemy begin to praise you, you are nobody. You are nobody. Imagine that Mazen Namdekano is there for all this year. None of them ever say any good about Mazen Namdekano. Nobody. They always angry about Mazen Namdekano. Because there is no how your enemy that knows that you want to disintegrate that contraption. You want to seize their country to exist. How do you think that these people will praise you? They, I saw them on Vanguard. They are writing their name. I asked them, that's your name they are writing. Are you the one that, oh, I can't have one. All of them have, all of them, they are autopilot. They don't even write IPOB. They write their name. They say they are doing, they are doing. Ask these people. The money they are using because I begin to ask them about one million. I never come on the day that I will come for that issue. All of you people will know because in Keman, only on Temana at Antemata. When I will carry come, all of you people will know. This is just a preamble. They don't even write IPOB mass in Nam the canon that they have they are trying, they have already worked their way to the United Nations to talk about 
the Biafran restoration. They went to go and write their name individual. Are they telling us now that Biafran struggle is individual before Chukwapon Madoko? Then I asked them, now they are putting their name as individual, collecting some part of uh, the, the legal team, some part of them. I'm not here to call them because the day that I will call them, it will be different. They pick some certain people, go and concoct story and fabricate lies, say these people are working. But they have forgotten a man that was there from the beginning. They went to his house. They burned his house down. They kill one of his brothers. And the man is still standing today doing what he's doing. Some of them went back, go there, and now, because you see two lawyers, three lawyers on him. All this story they are fabricating, I call it a fabricating lies. I don't care about what the UN says. Of course, they may talk about us. It's our money that we contributed. I am among those people that contributed it. Now they have already removed the name of Osakome. They removed the name of Barista Fan telling us that some particular lawyers, why the money they used to do all this thing is the money that we contributed. This is the own home. Who are you talking to? Are you talking to a kid? Because you are in that position for one stupid idiot to be giving you money because he believed that uh, we they are in family matter. Because they believe, they think that is because this is the person that I trust. You trust somebody with our money, and after you finish dealing with the international community, instead of you to write IPOB, now you are writing your own name on top of our money. I want to ask them. I don't want to call them. I want to ask them that money that they use to lobby the international community. Is it their money? Why should they put some name of lawyers and excluded some on top of our money that we contributed? And one charlatan will be somewhere telling you that he's, he is in charge because a person also trusted him by giving him the money and now he's sitting on top of our money using our money to lobby or to 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 do to do to do some certain things that is necessary after he's done with it he will go and put his name and the zoo called nigeria will begin to praise him if not on the person that you are fighting to disintegrate your country is praising you they are writing their name in vanguard and you tell me that these people are genuine i don't think so our leader mazen namikana have said it any day that the zoo begin to praise you you are nobody to uh, this our strong. You are nobody. That is the day that I know that the Epidema is not part of us. That the zoo called Nigeria will begin to praise him. But the zoo called Nigeria connive with BBC, wrote me a letter. They never tell me, come and interview. They told, let me come and interview. They, are, they wrote me a letter, begin to threaten me. They threaten me with the letter they wrote to me. A more powerful because they kill our general Ikonso. A more powerful, they granted a more powerful interview in channel television. A more powerful was there just a 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, they bound channel television and find there, I don't know how many million they find these people. They find them millions of naira because a more powerful was there just to talk about Ikonso. Talk less of you now that Vanguard are publishing you, giving you accurate, and you are telling me that you are part of us. You can never be part of us. I never start talking the video. I come here for a today's exposition. I'm telling you people, don't mind them. Ask them a question. How many lawyers are they paying? All our money that is in their disposal. They are using our money to, to create a, a cabal. Money again, again now. These people probably they are not paying money. Money that we are paying, they are using it to create a cabal. They find channel television 5 million naira. 5 million. They find channel television and they paid it. 
because a more powerful was there. And now they are telling you now they are praising them and uh, nothing happened. Vanguard is writing their name. Mazi, mute your mic, please. Vanguard newspaper is praising them, telling them that they, they are doing well. Uh, their name is there and they are shouting the one they call the one uh, the one you see the woman. Mazi, please mute your mic, please. So, what I'm saying is this. Don't mind them all. Ndi nne yariga ni yubo. Ndi yariga no iba min to say. Efo ndi ni na na apta sena vangad in April zi kwa fa. On wan keno jam ni here. Si ni abo vangad is a fake news. It's a fake news. You know that well, well, okay? Mazi, who just wrote this? Who just put this in up here? You are right. Vanguard is a fake news. That is why some people will go there and begin to tell us Vanguard just posted that thing on Twitter within some minutes. They deleted it because that is a propaganda. They just lying to themselves. I'm not saying that what the uh, United Nations are saying is bad or they, are, they don't know what they're saying. But I am telling you people, for them to not allow the name of IPOB to be there by them to be putting their name. That means that all of them, is the other of our, they are mad people on top of our money. How can such a thing be happened? That uh, you go, I don't know, maybe you people haven't read the, the comment from uh, Vanguard. You people should go to Vanguard and read that article from United Nations. Go and read the Vanguard and see the people that they, they attach their name there that they are the people that are working on top of the money that their franchise paid. On top of the money that are paid. They now went there and excluded some lawyers. Now carry their own lawyer, put their name there, begin to write nonsense. After they write all these things, they couldn't even put IPOB name. They are putting their individual name. Go there, what you will see there is come on. So Canon Tanal is IPOB. That is what Canon Tanal wants to tell us. That now he is an IPOB. Can somebody, an individual, will because somebody find that trust in him? How if you find him? They, they, they know what they are doing. They exactly know what they are doing. I don't know what they are doing, but they know. Somebody trusts you. Carry the money of IPOB that you are not a principal officer. You are not in, in DOS. Now trust you, gave you the money. Instead of you to, this is the problem that I keep on having with this guy. Nothing else. I will tell him. He never, things never be done that way. You cannot just be using our money. And later you'll be telling me that, uh, how can I work finish? And now other people will be taking the credit. How can I work finish? And the DOS will be taking the credit. And I keep on asking him, this money you are using, is it your own money or the money we contributed? If it's our money that we contributed, the accurate supposed to be going to the IPOB, not you individual. How? That is why I'm telling you people, that is why you see all this European this thing, all this thing they are writing. They should, you see all this thing, I don't believe in all those nonsense. You see, that is why they have to go there and change all those names they put there and make sure they put IPOB there. But the people, the real people, let me tell you people, the real people that make the news, you will hear, you will see that they never call their name. They will tell you, Mazen Nam, the canon IPOB. This is the way United Nations put it. But they went back to that zoo corner that tells zoo to attach their name in the island. Let us watch the video and see. Reconciliation, rehabilitation, and reintegration. Let us see and hear what they are saying. Therefore, that now, we have caught them. 
they are working with the zoo. Any day that the zoo begin to praise you, you are part of them. Let us go now. Let us go. This regional court sitting in Abuja has ordered the Nigerian government to pay $244 million in compensation to those affected by the Biafran War. The court has found the Nigerian government guilty of failing to demine and remove unexploded devices from the 11 states where the civil war was fought between 1967 and 1970. CGTN's Kalechi Emekelem has more. Applicants and defendants are all seated at the ECOWAS Community Court of Justice in Abuja, Nigeria's capital. They're here to witness the final ruling on a case that has been in the books for five years. It's a case that pitted the federal government against post biafran war claimants. Most of them have been maimed by mines and explosives left behind by the Biafran war. What's more, vast farmlands have also been abandoned for fear of accidental trigger of explosives scattered in the region. And finally, the government has not just agreed to read the region of explosives, but also pay those who have suffered the consequences of a war 47 years after. Not only uh, will there be compensation to people that lost their limbs, that were victims of various explosions, landmines, but also the farmlands will be cleared. The farmlands will be cleared of all these bombs. You know, for uh, 40 something years now, majority of the farmlands in the southeast and south south has uh, uh, laid fallow because of fear of uh, explosion. Almost $140 million of the total award would be spent on compensation of war victims and over $100 million would be spent on demining and destruction of unexploded ordinances. This is the only regime that had given life to the 3R, the reconciliation, recon, uh, reconstruction and rehabilitation. It has all been words and words and no action. And so we thank uh, uh, the present regime for taking this bold step, for agreeing to out of court settlement. The Biafran war involved 11 states in southeast and southern Nigeria attempting to break away from the Nigerian state. It lasted only two years and six months, but the cost was colossal. Over one million people were killed, and the scars of the war are still evident nearly five decades later. This ruling comes in the wake of fresh calls for Biafran breakaway, and President Buhari has already spoken about it with an uncompromising tone. He said the unity of Nigeria shall not be negotiated, and those pushing for a breakaway shall be dealt with firmly. Kelechi Amekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria. Regional court sitting in Abuja has ordered the Nigeria. I hope every one of you have seen it. Reconciliation, rehabilitation, and reintegration over 40 something years. Now, do you know what these people are planning? They are just planning to bring your head back so that some of you will begin to write your name. At the end, they are not going to pay you any money. We have told these people we don't need any money. And now you listen to the reporter. He was mentioning the South, South and South East. That is where the war happened. That to show you that we are the same people. They are like some of our people are idiots. They can't even listen. They can't even reason. We are one people. Now you understand it. Although some of our brothers in the coastal region, they, 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 they take the abandoned property. Of course, we have to say it. So that they will understand. But we are one people. That is already bygone. But I want you people to know to come and tell the zoo called Nigeria we don't need any rehabilitation, reconciliation, and reintegration. We don't need it anymore. This thing is supposed to happen after that war, 1970, genocidal, they committed against the great people of Biafra. Now, let me shock you people once again mm -hmm. where your problems start. Let me shock you where your problems start because whenever i'm saying things i used to you know i put my hand in different places telling you the root of your problem then you begin to understand because 
If you don't know the root of your problem, that's not how you can solve it. You see all this religion. Religion is also part of your problem. And I will shock every one of you. I will shock you, then you will know that religion, you will know that religion is nothing to you. You will know that they have already taken over you. And I will show you people what those people are doing that you will know. You will know that uh, they are all liars. I want to shock every one of you that religion is one of the biggest problems that we have in that contraption called Damine Buzu. Especially those people that call themselves Christians. Especially those people that are not going to be able to do it. I want to keep it last time where he was saying that uh, the sins of our ancestors. I begin to laugh at these people. Now I want to go straight to the religion. Then you see what I'm talking about. They are your problem. These people you are going to see now, they are your problem. Even though to the to, to, to the extent, to the extent that these people raise a dead person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the, there is something I want you people to just imagine. Imagine that a pastor or a priest raised a dead person from the death. And that person that he raised know where he, she is or where he is. He begin to, the person begin to drop. Somebody that died, I don't know how many days, three days, according to what they said. You raise the person. And the person begin to jump. At the same time that you just raise the person, he begin to jump and clap that he have. So the person knows that he died. <laughs> Do you know that according to Bible, whenever you died, you don't even know that you're a dead person. That is why you see some people in coma. Whenever they are in coma and they recovered, their memory is all, they have already lost some of their memory. Now people, even though they will begin to ask people what happens to them. But this person that I'm going to show you now for you to see the crime that our people are committing. Allowing our mothers to be rolling on the on the mud water, jumping around, jumping. Some people are now one half on now half on half in the name of miracle. Those people that brought this Christianity to us is the land that I'm living today. You can never see such a thing. Anything, any day you see such a thing, both the pastor, they will close that congregation. The man is going to jail straight away without stopping. But today it's happening in Africa. Because of what? Poverty. Because of what? Hunger. There is no electricity. There is no factory. There is no motorable road. Ike Pramara have uh, squandered the money already. There is no hospital. Even though in Aso Villa, Aso Rock, Aisha Bugari have said time with that number, no parastamol in Asovira. They have embezzled the money they put there for them to go. That is why Ike Pramari is running to England. And today, one, two hand have become one hand to him. And we pray in the name of Chuko Kikabi Amarad. Ike Premado can never be, he can never escape this. He can never, he will spend all those money that he have been stolen from our people. He will spend all of them finished and he can never come out. He will die in jail so that he will understand the kind of pains that we are feeling. Because these idiots, they don't even understand the pains that we are passing through every day. They don't even understand. Now let me shock every one of you and see how those people you call man of dogs are deceiving you. And I'm telling you people, this is a deceive. They are just deceiving you, brainwashing you. 
And I want to tell you people that the next thing that we are going to do when Biafra come, of course, we are going to uh, we champion, we will close all the whole churches. We will one then you begin to do what you can do to stop Biafra not to come. Because if Biafra comes, we must close all those nonsense that is happening. We will stop it. You people are using our people just not. If I this video is something that I will go and show an European, he will be telling me what these people are doing. I will tell the person that this do you know that these people are praying? This man is acting that is uh, he's delivering, uh, he's making them deliverance. He will tell me from where, who. Let us see and see your problem. Let us see your. Now, what you are going to see now is the act of Christianity. What you are going to be seeing now is the atrocity that Christianity, so called Christianity, so called man of dogs in that contraption. All of them, they are the same. All the whole in Africa, the whole Africa, they are the same. Somebody is raising a dead body. And I want you people to pay attention when this dead body will get up. It will begin to, she will begin to jump. Now tell me how this woman knows that she's dead. How did this woman know that they have already, she's gone already and come back to life? How did that woman know? A woman that after, if this thing is real, after they raise the woman, the woman supposed to, you know, sit down and begin to ask those people, what happens to her? What, what happens to me? But the woman begin to jump. Like say the woman, no, that is what I'm trying to tell you. All these people are evil. Now let's watch. See as you raise that. <laughs> The woman they raise as a dead body. They raise the woman as a dead body. Just imagine the person that is dead already. Everywhere the power that book now. Some of you, I want to ask all of you. Some of you that have saw a dead body before, or some of you that have lost somebody in your family. Have you seen powder cover the front of the person? Have you seen any powder? <laughs> I have lost my father. When they, they brought my father back from Marshall, I know how he looked like. There is no powder. You can see his face clear. Every go powder, pancake this woman. And the worst part of it is like this woman just get up and begin to jump like he knows that he's a dead person before. That is the problem of you. Let me repeat this Christianity to you all. I want you people to know that that is your problem. And we must do everything in our disposal to stop all this nonsense in our land. 
This is a deceit. This is a brainwash. And the man that have this church build the church in a sense that he will be he build it four corner and leave the middle of the church and bring all this uh, mold and water pour it there so that uh, of course when they will fall they will not wound themselves. All these sinners are arranged. All of them they are arranged. Let us see the the video again. I will mute it. I will mute the video again. Telling me that who did this to his family, that this is an old video. Now, have you now begin to understand the problem of our people? He's telling you that this old video, like this thing, is not happening today. Of course, we bring news and old. That is why, on this quest of self determination, everything that is happening, we are recording it. That is why I brought you all also what is all about the reconciliation, rehabilitation, and reintegration. It's a old news. Of course, it's a old news. Because you have listened to it, you call it old news. But do you know that today in Europe, First World War, they are still, you know, celebrating it, trying to lecture their own people so that it will not happen again that is the problem there this is the mix they put us into this thing that i'm showing you people today about the church it keep on happening people people keep on they're still touching people on their head they will begin to misbehave they begin to throw themselves on the ground. They begin to roll themselves on a mud. It's still happening today. People are still bringing the dead people alive today. They are claiming that they are bringing back the dead. It's still happening today. Why one idiot is here telling me it's old video? And today it's still happening. These people in this church today, they have promising these people heaven on earth. Telling them that they should come and pray fire holy ghost fire what you are listening to there holy ghost fire kill my enemy destroy my enemy and who is your enemy Fulani, they are your enemy you never pray against the Fulani. you never pray against the killings of Fulani. you never pray against the kidnap you are just putting our people in poverty deceiving them extorting small money they have by them rolling on the ground because you want to make miracle this is the way i said we we ban all this thing when time comes we don't need all these shenanigans we don't need it in our land come to europe that i'm living today of course the guy that is, is writing me probably is living in a zoo or is he living in africa but if he be able to come to europe he will understand that all this thing i'm saying is true that this man that said that he raised a dead body, by today he's supposed to be in prison. That man that is making our people to roll on mold water and jumping around like a mad people, the man will be in prison today. 
This is the people that brought Christianity to you. They are not doing all this thing. It's because of poverty. And the church people are one of the problem. Church. Even those who, even though all this uh, dinner quiz, they allow work about they don't do such a thing because they know that there is no power on this. They believe in guns and bullets. That is why you see today the Fulanese are taking over Nigeria because they know that all these things that pastors, your priest, your man of God, plus Umbaka them, plus all of them from A to Z. Ona 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 preach ona we ni ani enu na anu ni mamli enu every day every day all of them are na anu ni si mamli enu and you tell me that these people have power they don't have power to change Nigeria they don't have power to change Buhari out they don't have power to stop health men only power they have is to begin to touch our people we touch and follow they have our people we begin to roll themselves on the ground that is only power they have at the same time things that are happening to our people keep on happening to them after they finish praying with you you can never find a husband because most of us have left most of us have left most of us today have married a foreigner you know when i'm saying foreigner sometimes some of our brothers and sisters that marry a black woman we think that they, they marry black is lie as far as you marry away from your region, from your, your ancestral place, you married a foreigner. Being you person from Biafra, you married a South African woman, you married a, a foreigner. Is the same thing like somebody that is living in America married a white American. You are the same. There is no different. What you married is a foreigner. And some of our sisters today, they, are, they, they have lost their husbands, they have lost their husband because most of their husbands have left. And these people are promising them they will marry. Who is going to marry them? Tell me who is going to marry them. You see, our people have to begin to understand where our problem is. All these people call themselves man of God from TB Joshua to Ayedi Oyedipo, to Bakari, to Mbaka, to Mkajo, to Mbutakuro, to Anapo, Ebuka. Because their problem is when you gather a congregation, that means that you're a pastor. Igame small sham, put where an account, it all short people, people are not going to go That means that, and you people haven't asked where these people are getting this power. Can you ask these people? Listen to me, magic is everywhere. That is why this master prophet in uh, Germany here is looking forward to That is what he's looking for. That's Because all these pastors you see today, all of them, they are magician. These people are not Dibia. They are not native doctors. They are not Dibia. They are magician. These people have read one book or the other, have meditated and be able to touch somebody and that person will be around them. Because most of the time, let me tell you people something. It's not lie. You see some of them that they are rolling. Some of them they carried away. They don't know. As far as you touch them with your ring, they will be carried away. They will begin to fall, begin to shout. After you shall finish, you are still in the same problem. Nothing has been changed. That is why I'm telling you people, that is why Fulani are doing best. They are doing the best. Because it's very hard for you to see a mosque where Allah Wakubalu is hitting their head on the ground. Begin to do the same thing that all this Christianity in our land doing. You can never see it. That is why these people believe in guns and bullets. That is why you see Fulani with rearing cattle have subjugated weapons. They have AK-47 rifles because they believe in that rifle. They don't believe uh, somebody is coming. That is why they are rampaging every of you people today. Killing our people, maiming our people. Why some of idiots in our land will, will still be there gathering people, saying they are praying our people are falling. Tell me 
Tell a Buka, tell a Buka that I know that he should go and bring one person. And Matthias have told them this thing with time without number. I will also look forward to bring Matthias once again because that guy is doing a great work. Matthias is doing a very great work. That is the kind of person we need in our land. People that have to be telling our people the truth. The reason why you are, you are, you are sick today, you cannot go to hospital because there is no hospital for you to go. The reason why that you seek today, there is no money for your to, to for payment, is because there is no factory for you to work. The reason why you were traveling from Lagos to or from Onisha to 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 Ihala and you stay on the road for five hours because there is no motorable road. Are you getting the point? Nobody fixed the road. No hospital for you to go. No factory to you to work and get money. But some people will begin to deceive you. Tell you, come, I will pray for you. Tell me, come to my congregation. They will keep on there extorting some small, small money you are doing, small business. Some of our people. And I hope that this protest continues today. I hope the protest continues. We have our people every day. They are going to Sunday Sunday school, Monday Sunday school, Tuesday Sunday school, Wednesday Sunday school, from Sunday to Sunday, they are going Sunday school. From Sunday to Sunday, they are going Sunday school. If you tell them to come out on protest, they will, some of the man people we have in our land are deceiving them in the name of miracle. Deceiving them. Okay, now, tell me. Now they have killed our 14th FT men. How do you think that justice can be done if we did not protest? Are you telling me that justice will be done by these people going to these idiot places where they have already buried, I don't know how many heads, they have already buried in the altar, telling you that it's a church. In England today, you can never see such a thing. You cannot see such a people running on the floor. The pastor is going to prison straight away. We are saying people, we, even though we see only people polluting the, 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 the you know, air pollution. <laughs> they call it air pollution because they are on those streets preaching what you call word of God which is they are disturbing the peace of people if you try it we saw it in England where somebody was preaching a black monkey, a black bamboo a black idiot that comes from Africa is looking for a greener pension he went to England. Instead of him to keep on working to help his own family down home, he's going there be preaching. And this is the people that brought Anglican to us. Now they get him arrested, telling him you are polluting the, the air. You are disturbing the, 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 the movement of people. And that is authentic. That is something that you can, ne can never happen. You see people that are preaching here in Europe where I live. What these people are doing, you will just bring all out your all this your pamphlet. You will build something that is like a shave. You will just put your pamphlet there. You just hang it there and stay. You can never talk. Anybody that like will come there and take one pamphlet and move. That person that is staying there can never even talk at all because they will tell you you cannot use your own begin to disturb others. You can never do it. You see all this thing that you wake up in the morning Sunday, this one is shouting hallelujah. And then he can't get a go to the other side. These people are shouting the other side. These people are shouting. In Europe, such a thing can never happen. Those people that have brought Christianity to us, it can never happen in their land. You can never try it. If you try it, you end up in jail. After you pay money, you end up in jail. After you come out, you sign a signature. You sign that you can never do something. You see that guy that you people are seeing that day they pick up in the street of London? <clears throat> you know, the man was shouting, I did not do anything. I did not do anything. I didn't do anything. Let me tell you something. After that guy find himself in prison, maybe like 14 or one week he will spend there, before they will release the man, the man will sign. We can never see you any place again. Any day we see you, you are going to go more imprisonment. And he will sign it. You will never see that man again. The law 
has spoken. In that zoo called Nigeria, they keep on deceiving you. This is the people that are putting you all in poverty. Plus the government. The government are the architect. And this Christianity that we have today in our land are the people that are burning, putting gasoline inside the fire, helping the government not to build road for you, not to build any infrastructure, not to build any good road, not to build hospital, not to build factory companies where you can be able to work. The government are doing it and the Christians are helping them, telling you to come that they will pray for you, you will have a job. After they pray for you, how do you think that you will have a job when there is no job? Have you asked yourself the problem? The God that you are seeing is your government. The God that we see, you can see today that are helping country to grow is the government. Government stand for God. They are the people that will make your role to be good. They are going to people, are people that are going to be paying you to be in case if you don't have a job. They are government. Government is God to people. They are find themselves in some countries. Like today in Germany, the government are the people that are putting everything in place. The government, do you know that today in Germany, that if I'm sick, if I'm having kidney problem, I'm not going to pay any chichi. What they have to do, they will register me, put me on the list. When my time comes, they will give me kidney for free. For free. Are you listening to what I'm saying? For free. And here in Europe, it's not because you, you are a rich person. You just get there. Because you are a rich, they will give you kidney immediately. The, this never does that way. Because all of us pay tax. As you are a rich man paying tax, this is also how I myself, as an average person, paying my also tax. So whenever you are a rich man have a kidney problem, an average man have a kidney problem, who first registered is first they will take care. As now as a rich person, now you are very, very rich. If you don't want to wait, then you go and look for kidney by yourself. You go and look it for yourself. If you find, you bring, they do it for you. Exactly what UK Premado did before they caught him. And Europe, in Germany here, is very hard for you to bring somebody. Because before you bring somebody, you must be your family. If it's not your family, they will never accept it. They will never accept it. Not like that zoo called Nigeria. Now you begin to understand your problem. The God that you see, like I said to my people, is the government. They are in position to provide you everything that you need. Everything that you need as a woman, light, clean water, roads, factory, companies. They are the people that are going to build this thing first before individual begin to build some small, small factories to help people maybe build small that then we have something like 1,000 employees, 500 employees, 100 employees, three employees, down to one. The government have to build it first. My great people, this is what I have for you today. In conclusion, I want you people to understand that everything that I said here, we have some fake military. For some of you that are traveling to Abuja, and some of you don't believe in Biafran restoration, I pray the next gun bullet or gunshot will hit you or your father or your son. Then you begin to know that none, amen. Some group of people, they are supporting Tifubu. Some Igbo Efulev in Lagos supporting Tifubu. Say Igbo Kwenu, Tifubu Kai Geso. Igbo Kwenu, Tifubu Kai Geso. Emelo Nefe, Eme. Ndebanye. They say that they want to bomb a Bugari convoy. Terrorists threaten to kidnap Bugari. Why they will not kill them? Must kidnap Bugari, of course. They want to kidnap Bugari so that Bugari, the dead one, the mask wearer, Aisha Bugari, boyfriend, will go back to Nijeo 
where he came from. That is why they have to kidnap Bugari and they will kidnap him. Then the end of Bugari, everything about Bugari will end. They will kidnap him and it will end. They will not talk about Bugari again. <laughs> Very soon they may tell you that Bugari have died. By that time, bandits have taken over Nigeria or articulated we come back to his mandate because his case is still open today are you listening to what i'm saying article case is still open today so article can also emerge at that minute if article see that they have only two days to announce the election three days to announce the election the supreme court can announce that article have won the election between bugari and Atiku, Atiku will take the position. All the thing that you people are gallivanting is just a lie. Atiku will take position, and there's nothing you people can do it because Supreme Court have said, "Utwezi weti hope or them one there killing your people." Have you rejected hope or them one? The answer is no. Protest must continue, and some of you say that you will not continue. Chuku ga o noko nde ba ena be mi fe once. If they were tired, we will keep on tiring. And they will keep on taking our land. They will keep on killing our people. After 14 men have died, if you people want to sweep it under the carpet, let us sweep it under the carpet. After one month, Ogu will still so face. Ogu will still face and begin to kill. If I imagine here, we are causing this protest. No one day Jacob here as we are we are not so no cause. Unika wono no. On what if I get mono? I will also try to work my best to make sure that I I may contact some people. We also try to do something for people on the ground. I'm going to want one bottles of water. I need beef. We are in position to do that. It's nothing to us to be able to organize. But it's not something that I will do alone. I have to call some people to ask them if it's possible for us to also organize on our own, be able to help our people on the ground. But forget, help. I'm telling you people that Ogu will come back tomorrow and begin to kill, and nothing will happen because the one that happens to us. We couldn't take the right direction. This is exactly what happens to answers. What it is to us to just 2 p.m. Biafran time to make a protest for five hours, six hours, and everybody will go to their home. Following day, come again. The next day, come again. Till further notice. What is, what is, what, 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 how can we do it to achieve what we want? And now some pastors, a lot of pastors, not some pastors, all of them. Monday, all this DBA Frona name and call in a social media. I don't talk about nonsense people. All this DBA in a phone social media, they are hunching in a big deal. Oh, yes, and if any who was yat young wire now, yat woman I will say now, or yah war will send the arm come more comfort. Oh, when I'm over is who can you all this DBA in a phone and social media, they are all fraud they are fraudsters none of them are those pastors you are seeing today like ebuka now galavant intellectuals everywhere monday night to your daughter see now how about pastor monday to your daughter how we talk about that because they want to be like a that idiot on the cross with green eyes they want to be like him that is why they see they are applying cream on their body because they want to be like a man with a green eyes. You see? And that is the problem we have. All these pastors you see that are having their adoration, they're having their crusade, like um, what they call him, uh, Suleiman. Suleiman is a person that opposite uh, name I I has no problem with Suleiman. Also, uh, make him go carry 300 wife. They sleep with them one after the other. This is what he choose. He's a man. And the worst part of it is like this man supposed to come out and make it clear. Nobody going to kill you. This is your, your, your biggest man that they tell you is a, is a next to God. 
Moses or what is a, uh, what is the name of this man that have I don't know how many wives he has. That is it. So all of you people that are going to uh, Suleiman and uh, Suleiman that is a Muslim man that knows that because of there is a money in Christianity and he go and make some small magic, put some ring in his bag and pocket and when he touch you, you begin to fall. And now you believe him that he know what he's doing. So you don't have to, you know, you don't have to blame him. He's a man. Or like your general one day book, polygamous family. It does not matter. But the one thing is about that they are lying to our people. So what I'm bringing to you today is that for you people to understand that your problem is part of this Christianity the government is the main problem and now those your pastors and that the go and your priests are now putting gasoline inside the fire i want you <clears throat> to know this this thing that you see your pastors are doing today you can never see it in a mosque where muslim people are praying you can never see all these things they believe in AK-47. They believe in guns and bullets. That is how they can be able to achieve their aim by fulanization, Wahhabism, terrorism, taking over your land with conquest. That is what they call conquest. They are coming with ethnic cleansing, with guns and bullets. Why some idiots are there telling you to auto share account? You will begin to run. I that is why you see that you think that these people don't know what they are doing. That is why they will never put that place concrete because they don't want them to break their head. My great people, I greet you all today for listening to Biafran Television Channel One under the leadership of Mazen Namdekano. Like I promised my people, within Friday or Saturday, we are going to bring the final, the final expose about the final nailing the end of Ebubago in Biafra land we are going to bring it either Friday or Saturday we are going to arrange it <clears throat> to bring you people on the ground to tell you the next step what we are going to do and at the same time I want you people to know that Ogu have taken 440 if we stop, Ogu will come back. But we are going to bring the last expose on Ogu. How Ogu have been killing our people. Live and direct. You people, we know who is Ogu, but we are going to publish it. I greet you all. I salute you all for listening. Don't mind the Facebook, what they are doing. Look at we today. We are having only 50 people <laughs> on Facebook. <laughs> and some people will be telling you this. We don't need to be shouting. Of course, we are on Biafran Television Channel 1 on satellite. That is where we are. And our people have listed. I uh, will also come someday to debunk <clears throat> about this UN speaking. And those people that went there to give their name for Vanguard to attach their name. Because they want to tell the world that they are working. <clears throat> you are working with our own money. You are sitting on top of our own money. Go there and be putting your name. You are fighting for Biafra to come on you as an individual. Have forgotten the name of the group that was paying the money, was contributing the money. No, the name of the group is not there, but it's only your name is there to show you that you have already taken the position of uh, the leadership. That is what you are trying to tell the world. But of course, the day that I will come, I will debunk everything and I will begin to ask you people, those money that you people are using to lobby, who, who are those people that contributed that money? I have asked them this question on the ground and they never answered me. That is why I will still bring it up on social media. Ask them. Maybe this time around they will go and meet a Nigerian Tribune to help them to write one article. Envelope have changed hand. If you happy here, happy here, they will go and lose and meet a national newspaper. They will pay them brown envelope. They will write their name. Forgetting IPOB, the moving trade. Ever can no wage zone.
I greet you all great people for listening today. And I will call it a day. Our leader, Mazen Namdekano, you will soon be out and support this struggle where you stopped and begin to, you know, champion us on this Biafran restoration project. Only IPOB is the moving train. All those people that want to take over IPOB, they are liars. They say they are the people in charge. They are in charge of legal team with whose people's money. With the Egonde or Nek Haji, and the Adjukan Najofa, Kony and Yerefego, are they working with the zoo? All of them, they are autopilot. They are the people that are going on the ground telling autopilot to begin to abuse the leadership. They are the people that are telling the Biafra Unite slash idiot television to begin to, you know, abuse Mazichike, Dozem China Saworu every day. They are the people are going there, be telling them. They are the people. I have already spoken to these people. You know, I told you people that I have been have gone beyond what you think I am. I am the Biafran child watching it. Known as the Biafran, known as the Mazo Kitsuku. Okay, now. Now you understand. I call it a day till we see another day, my people. Great people. Good day and welcome.